incremental approach that builds security, confidence and legitimacy over time in phases is the most viable way to break out of the existing violent stasis in Afghanistan. An incremental approach pursues two objectives. First, short term, to reduce violence. This inevitably involves a central role for the conflict parties, primarily the Afghan government and the Taliban. Second, a long-term objective to develop a more inclusive social contract. This must inevitably involve and be endorsed by the whole of Afghan society. Uh, the topic, uh, peace in Afghanistan, uh, some alternative thinking, uh, is uh, it, it's vital because things can't just carry on as they are now. Uh, the situation in Afghanistan will get worse uh, unless there is an effective peace process. The approaches of peace which have been tried of late have really focused on precipitating a grand bargain, somehow triggering top-level negotiations between the Afghan government and the, the leadership of the, the Taliban. And uh, this report looks at some of the alternatives uh, informed by uh, a really you know, good um, uh, reflection on uh, the, the past. We explore the ways in which Afghanistan's history can provide valuable lessons to guide future peace initiatives. This includes looking at the historical relationship between violence, security and politics and the space or lack of space for peaceful political opposition. Afghanistan is also very much influenced by regional and international actors and we look at how this outside interest has impacted violent conflict in the country in the past. Section 2 of the publication looks forward to how different types of peace initiative can help us move out of the current situation in Afghanistan. It adds some detail about the kind of processes that might make this a reality. For example, it looks at uh, women's participation in peace talks and options for those. It explores how military and political strategies could be better integrated and it includes some statements from Taliban factions about their ideas for peace looking forward. A vision for a new inclusive politics alongside Afghanistan's transition from war is conceivable. But any framework for achieving this would need to be grounded both in historical lessons and in current political and security realities. In the final section of the Accord, we look at the realities of a transition from war to peace. We look at the past and the present, examining the political, economic, social and military situation and how these can be incorporated into a practical framework for transition. Uh, I think uh, there's, a, you know, there's a, a sort of a unique selling point to this report, uh, which is the really the, the authority and the weight of the contributors and the nature of the selection. Uh, yeah, this, is a, this is a galaxy of stars, well worth reading.